Here we are at problem 3F from the limits worksheet. We have the limit as x approaches one of this particular crazy looking rational function. Now, uh, or I should say expression. Now, when we're looking at this, uh, if we try direct evaluation, we'll actually just end up with that zero over zero in determinate form. So unfortunately, that's not gonna quite work out. Even if you actually even try multiplying this and rationalizing this, uh, this bottom by multiplying it by the conjugate on top and bottom, you'll actually still on the bottom actually end up with uh, x minus one when you finally do all the foiling and all that. And so when you try even doing direct evaluation then, you're still gonna get something over zero and it's not gonna work out. So we've tried direct evaluation, we've tried algebra. Unfortunately, none of those quite work. However, there is something that should be on your desk at all times, whether it's at school or at home, and that is in fact actually the graphing calculator. So we're gonna go ahead and just pull that out and see what is exactly going on. I'm gonna go ahead and go over to y equals, and let's just go ahead and graph this bad boy. So our function is the cube root of x, and we can actually represent that as, I'm gonna go ahead and open up a parenthesis, and even actually another parenthesis, just for safe measures, uh, as x raised to, instead of like the cube root, we're gonna raise this up to the one third power. So one divided by three. Now you might be thinking, wow, you've got a lot of parentheses, and you know what, that's okay, I'd rather just be safe than sorry. Minus one close parentheses, and that would just be for our entire first top part. And then we're gonna go ahead and divide by, open parentheses, our bottom function. Well, if we have the square root of x, that's really just x raised to the one half power. So we have x raised to the one divided by two, close parentheses, and then to get off of that, exponent, I'm just gonna hit that right arrow, minus one, close parentheses. We actually don't even really need that first, very, very first one, um, because you can see that the top portion is being controlled by these two parentheses, likewise with the bottom, but again, you never know when you might need a spare one, so. Going ahead now and graphing this, we see an image that looks something like this, so there's really not much going on. It almost even just looks like a straight line, but it's not quite a straight line, um, starting at what appears to be zero. Well, we're curious about what's going on at specifically one. Now we can go ahead and do a couple of different things, but I think the easiest thing is just to go ahead and look at the table. So we're gonna go ahead and hit second, table, and we see that at one, there is in fact an error, but there should be some kind of limit as it's approaching there. Now, we can go ahead and actually change then our table to see what is happening more closely at this value one, this x value one. So we're gonna start our table then at something really, really close to one, but not quite one. So maybe like point, we'll say nine, nine, nine. Oop, too many nines. Let's delete a couple of those. Delete the next one. Okay, so we're gonna start at 0.99. And then we're gonna change our table by a value of, let's go with 0 0.01, just to see what happens. Then if we hit second table, we notice now a very much more approximate value. So at 0.99, we're approaching what appears to be two thirds or close to two thirds. And when we're just a little bit above one, we're pretty much at that same value, pretty close to two thirds. So the limit then for problem 3F should come out to be um, about two thirds. So again, that is problem 3F. It's actually a really good problem because again, we've tried direct evaluation, we tried a lot of algebra, uh, algebraic techniques, and unfortunately none of those just really quite worked. And so kind of a fail safe is actually just going ahead and using your graphing calculator, plugging it in, and just kind of seeing either what the graph looks like, and maybe you can actually answer the question there. Otherwise, going back to the tables and kind of figuring out, well, what is my actual limit? So again, that is problem 3F. 
from the limits worksheet for the summer packet.